Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. Ooh, the losing streak is going well, people. It's going well. We're really building it up. Uh, this time I'm going to play as Mastema because I enjoy Mastema quite a bit. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. I haven't decided yet. Um, we're definitely going to take Heal Spare because Heal Spare is insanely good. Um, and we will continue on from there. But yeah, Heal Spare, just an insane damage increase uh, off the bat. Even for the two hearts, it cost us very worthwhile. Why, where the hell did we get this burn heart from? Okay, this is a quite annoying room here. Just, just focus on the big boy. There you go. As for the question of the day today, what's a skill you didn't really know you had until someone else pointed it out? Like, I feel like that can happen quite often, because what for me, like, I've always sort of had, like, I've always sort of known, but never really, like, I, I'm, like, quite good with people. Like, I am a weird mixture of, like, my, my, my personality is just kind of strange, mainly because I'm, like, insanely introverted. Like, I am, a, like, a very much a huge introvert. I very much um, like my alone time and prefer my alone time. But, on the other side of that, um, that's a lot of guacamole. On the other side of that, I'm really good with people. And I do, I, like, I am somewhat outgoing in that, like, I enjoy seeing people. But it's like, I need my alone time so that I can afford to be around people, if you know what I mean. Um... And yeah, I didn't really know, like, that I was a people person or, like, good with people until I got the job that I have now. And my boss is, like, sort of always talking about the fact that I'm so good with people and I didn't really think that I was. And then, uh, as well, like, my, my girlfriend has, has pointed it out, too, uh, that, like, I'm good when we meet, like, new people and stuff. But she really struggles with it and, like, struggles with how to, like, converse with new people that you don't know. But I don't find that super difficult. But I've ne it's, it's never really been something that I thought about actively. Probably should have saved that charge, to be honest. It would have been better off being saved. Um, check out the shop here. Oh, yeah, shop's not valuable in this, is it? I forgot about that. Um, I'll use that on the boss. Why not? Right. Keep it going. But, yeah, I, I, I do love my stemmer here. But definitely do my stemmer and then tainted my stemmer. And then I might do... I think that then I might do deleted and then hop back to doing another streak again. Because uh, I really enjoyed the streak and you guys seem to as well. Well, that works out pretty darn well. We got Heart Container. We got Tears Up. And we got Range Up. Do you know what? I'm going to take another gamble and go and buy the other Devil Deal. It's an unknown one. It's a two-heart deal. So, it's risky, but it just could be really good. So, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed that I um, wasted my prayer card there, though. See what we get here. Succubus. Hell yes. Very, very happy with that. Our damage output right now is... is Quite spicy. Quite spicy indeed. And let's keep her moving along, baby. Yeah, I guess our damage is really good. But yeah, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying playing through the modded characters at the minute and not worrying about wins. But honestly, I thoroughly enjoyed the streak. And I asked a question in a recent episode that only just got released about uh, what you guys liked about this. Like, if you guys sort of enjoyed the streak more. And a lot of you said yes. A lot of you said that you... um. You really enjoyed the streak, uh, so I'm going to try and make streaking more of a priority because uh, the sort of slightly slower methodical gameplay people seem to enjoy and also it just adds more stakes to the run. It's not just watching a random, um, a random Isaac video. It's instead sort of keeping up with the streak and seeing how it goes, um, which I kind of like. Oh, dude. Incubus slaps. He slaps so hard. Right, we'll check what's in he in here at least. Um, that's not super useful. Don't know about that. Let's see what we can do first, right? Check this out as well. Ooh, there you go. Bunch of extra pennies. Wasn't expecting it, but very, very nice. Like I said, I don't really need pennies for too much, but like, could get beggars and stuff like that here and there. It's worth having them regardless. Anyways, let's keep pushing forward. Also, 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 um, do you know how I've been complaining for quite a long time, and I'm sure many of you know, about some of the Fiend Folio bosses? Well, I asked on the Isaac Reddit if there was anything I could do about it, and turns out there is, and so I have. Um, basically, there is a, um, 
a, a flag in the main.lua code that basically says, will this boss spawn as a boss? And you can just, like, comment out that line and that boss will no longer spawn as a boss. Now, the, the boss is still in the game. It can still show up in boss rush. It can still show up during rooms, like in the end game floors. But as an actual boss, it can no longer show up. And so, basically, like, I think it's like six bosses or seven bosses that I really just don't like going up against. Um, I've gotten rid of M mainly some of the first floor ones. I've kept some of them. I still like the, the like the, the triple ghost guys. I still like the big B dude. Um, but like book and stuff like that. Oh, did I just lose that eternal heart? Or did I not have an eternal heart? Okay. Did I have an eternal heart? I don't think I did. I can't remember if I lost an eternal heart there. Box of stuff. Well, that's good. Uh, boom bow. We'll check out this. Um, can we live through this? I think we can, because it'll give us a HP up, right? Yes. Good, good. Okay. This run's insane now. I mean, it was already pretty insane. It's it's uber insane now. This run is omega crazy. Right. I'm going to go back to my item room, and I just want to see that that cataracts thing might be really good. If our tears decelerate, that's a good thing for us, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to decide if that would be really good for us. With Herming, I think that's really good. Tears remain airborne significantly longer. Yeah, let's, let, let's take that. I think that would be really good. Cool. So this might be this might be terrible because as you, as you can see they don't travel very far far. But I'm thinking with a strong herming it should be really good, right? In theory. In theory it should be really good. Anyhow, let's exit this floor um, and keep her going. I'm pretty happy so far though. Obviously our health is a little risky at the moment, but overall I think we're uh, in a good spot. We got Capricorn out of that. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay, this is incredible. This is incredible. I had a feeling it would be, and it very much is. Like, literally, the moment the enemy gets anywhere near the tier, it just gains an insane amount of, um, of speed and just rushes towards them. This is, this is a legitimately, absolutely god-tier run right now. <laughs> like, holy hell. Absolute god-tier run. I mean, look at our damage when we're moving at full speed. It's like 22. That's pretty obscene. What we got going on in here? Vault of Havoc, I'm not too interested in right now. I mean, I, su I suppose it'd be pretty strong for us, but for the amount of HP it's asking, I don't think it's a good take. Uh, I can't quite get to that, unfortunately, with a single bomb. It's not really worth it. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty spicy stuff going on right now. Pretty spicy stuff. I think with just these items, we could kill Mega Satan. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but we will get more. We will build more. I love this character, though. This character is just such a, a high risk-reward character, and that's just so much fun for me. I love risk-reward. All this money and nothing to use it on. But yeah, it just means my tears can like, hang around for the next wave of enemies as well. It's beautiful, and they all have so much damage. Off that bad boy. Health is looking a lot better now. Should I take that one heart deal in the, uh, in the item room? Do you know what? Probably. It might be an active item, and I don't have one yet, so why not? Could also be something terrible, but there's not too many devil items that are really bad. Even, I think even at this stage, Brother Bobby would be worth it. Like, just for the chance at conjoined. Rubik's Cube. Ah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um, basically, we have to use this uh, whenever it's ready, and eventually it'll solve, and it'll become a three-room charge D6 that can reroll things into item other item pools. So it's potentially very, very strong. Um, and it's just nice to have the ability to reroll. But it can take up to 20 tries to uh, to change it into the, um, the completed cube. Oh, that makes life so much easier for solving the cube. And it makes our um, thingy... Uh, our prayer card more active. This is a very, very good trinket for us to have just got on there. 
Very, very good indeed. But yeah, there's going to be a bit of a cakewalk of a run, I'd say. But yeah, being able to one room charge the, this active to, to solve it is going to be super useful. Break card ready again. I need to be moving to make sure that I'm getting full damage out of heal spurs. Uh, some extra HP is kind of nice there. Keep it moving. No angel deal this time around. We'll hope for another angel deal soon. Yeah, health is looking really good right now. A lot, a lot to trade with. That's what we like to see. So far, we're doing pretty bad um, on the rolls for getting our Rubik's Cube to solve. But like I said, it's not as big of a problem because we're doing it twice as quick as normal. Ooh, we've got the um, item that uh, makes us use a book every uh, three rooms, which is really nice. Good, good. So many mushrooms to destroy. Don't like not having mapping here. When you have enough damage, just outright chop one of those heads off. It's pretty amazing. Rare card ready again. Oh, dude, our health going up so quick now. Dude, how has it not solved yet? Am I, am I thinking of the wrong item or something? Okay, no, I'm not. It's just, I'm just getting really unlucky. It's, after 20, it guaranteed solves. So we're, we're, we're pretty close to it solving anyways. We haven't seen our item room yet. I'll have to go back for that. Good. Got right, angel deal again. Very, very nice. Sets our damage to seven. Ha. No fucking way. <laughs> that would be awful for us. Right. Let's go. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, unfortunately, that item would literally just, like, ruin our damage, so we can't take that. It's, it's, it's one of those ones where it's really good if you get it early, but if you don't, it's pretty terrible. I, I really think it should be, like, 10 or something, because 7 is, like, a pretty low number. I feel like normally past, like, the third or fourth floor, you've got 7 damage. Not every time, mind you. And obviously with, like, soy milk and stuff, it could be really strong. Hey, we finally got it. Oh, it's four room charge, not three room charge, but still, there you go. Extra soul heart there as well. Um, I think at this stage, I'm willing to take the flight. I am I willing to take both of these? The flight is pretty good. Yeah, let's take them both. Why not? Book of Genesis. Um, Book of Genesis is good, but I'm just going to re-roll it and see what I get. Oh, okay. Well, that that's not ideal because it slightly ruins our cataract thing, but I think overall it's going to be very, very strong. So I think it's actually a lot better. But that was a pretty good reroll, I'd say. That was a pretty good reroll. Yeah, this is very strong. Unfortunately, the shot speed of the rings is still, like, really high, though, which is a shame. Right, back we go. Yeah, this is this is pretty nutty in terms of the damage output we're going to be putting forth here. Is this a secret room? No. Nah. Had to try it. Had to try it, right. Down we go. We've got our full key piece now as well, so we're good on that front. Damage is at 24 when we're at full speed. Heal spare is just absolutely ludicrous in how good it is. Like, you're always moving, so it's always good. Kind of insane. Why is there a hearst there? Why is there a hearst there? Oh, I just have hearst hat, I see. 
I was very confused for a minute then. Um, that's the candy that's pretty bad. Don't know what this is. I'll just take it. Tractor beam. Ooh, tractor beam's pretty cool with this. You get like tears swinging around it. I'm down. I'm down. Do this just for the charge. Uh, the charges. I got an eternal heart out of it as well. Anyways. Okay, this with this with herming and stuff is really cool with the, the, the tractor beam tears going around it. I think that's really, really interesting. I'm really liking this. I love the uh, tractor beam mod for the tractor beam synergies. It just it adds so many cool synergies, and yeah, this is definitely one of them. So now we get the best of both worlds. We get the tears as well. Very happy. This run is one of the cooler runs I've had in a while. I just love this character, man. So much risk involved, but so much reward. Holy hell. <clears throat> Literally one shot cleared out the entire room. Beautiful. Oh, we, we gained technology for this room, which gave us proper brimstone. Strange that's the way that synergy works. Ooh. Oh, no, we don't want shot speed. No, thank you. Yep. You're dead nice and quick. What we got going on here? We got fraudulent fungus, I think that is. Uh, do we have anything that actually benefits from perfection? I'd rather... I think I'd rather keep the quicker charges, to be honest. We don't have anything specific that benefits from perfection. It'd just be from, like, getting the... Um, Item, uh, the items on room drop. Lovely. We're just going to try and do, um, Light Path Mega Satan here, I think. Good, good. Um, oh, that's a trinket. Eh, don't really care for it then. Oh, wait, actually. One shop item for free. Does that count as devil deals as well? I don't know. Let me let me take it with me and, and, and check in the item room, wherever the item room ends up being. Right, just keep throwing that out there. Good, good. Item room, item room. Where art thou? You are. It does not. Okay. <laughs> Funny that we can gain herming there. I don't think we need herming. Right, let's go back and get out of the trinket because this doesn't work. Yeah, funny that you can, uh, they gave us Spoonbender there. I'm sorry, but Spoonbender doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for us. A hug. Hey, you got a rotten heart. Not a rotten heart, a morbid heart. Kind of nice. Careful of that little rolling head. Good, good. Got another heart going. Go back and get another reroll going. Obviously, I don't know what the second item I'm rerolling is, but the active one I do, the one that I can actually see. Prosperity, unfortunately, would be very good, but doesn't work. So, someone actually suggested something with prosperity. Basically, they suggested just, um, take, like... If I, because it doesn't work, basically taking it and then duplicating what needs to be duplicated. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take Prosperity. Then I'm going to immediately remove Prosperity. And give myself a Succubus. So now I have two Succubuses, as I should, and Prosperity isn't booked. So, I like, whoever suggested that, I like that idea. It's a good idea. Unfortunately, the item is, it just, it does stuff in a very strange way, the way that it duplicates familiars, and it, it really breaks the familiar limit. 
Um, it does some really funky stuff. But basically, all I wanted was two succubuses, and I paid for them. So there you go. I've got them now. Uh, and succubuses' damage bonus like stacks, so you can get some really crazy damage out of having multiple succubuses. Another zealot heart there, lovely. We can do boss rush here. Um, I think I'm gonna take light path. Yes, yeah, we'll take light path. In here, we've got nothing good. We've got Photon, but I just don't know how Photon would work with this, and I have a feeling it wouldn't synergize. I could take two bot flies, that could be pretty strong, or I could take Tech Point Five, which I think I'm gonna do. Which with Tracks of Beam seems to be doing some nutty stuff. Like we're creating a hell of a lot of tears right now. But also, this is the last floor. Yeah, T Tractor Beam plus Technology is creating a shit ton of tears here, so this is a really good decision. Um, you see how every laser we fire, like, leaves a line of tears? Uh, this is the last floor that um, Prayer Card will give us um, red hearts. Basically, after this, it only gives soul hearts. So it's a really good idea, actually, to stay on this floor as long as possible and get um, as many red hearts as we can. But yeah, this is... This tractor beam synergy is nutty. But yeah, see, this this boss is one of the ones that I've removed, for example, but he's still in boss rush. It's not like we've removed him completely. But he's now not going to show up in an actual boss room. This is going remarkably well right now. Kingpin is another one that I've gotten rid of, but he will still show up in boss rush in random rooms later in the game. I got rid of him for what I hope is very obvious reasons. Beautiful. This is just insane damage right now. Chubby bastard, we're ending your life. Must be almost done now. Must be only a few waves remaining. This guy's gonna go underground. No, he didn't manage to, nice. Lovely. There you go. Mastema's Wrath. Um, ooh, Iable Isle. I don't think Iable Isle does much for us, but there you go. Right, keep it going. Yeah. Tech Point 5 was a goddamn genius player with the Herming we've got going on. Now we literally get the best of both worlds. A ton of tears to, to Herm in with the uh, Cataract Synergy, and then we get the, the Beam as well. It's just crazy. Yeah, so prayer card now will just give us half soul hearts. Just because on these floors there's nothing much to spend your red health on, apart from the actual um, end of floor devil deals. So they made it so it makes a bit more sense. Toy drum, lovely. Angel deal, you have... I don't know what the fuck that is, actually. What is that? Star of Bottomless Pit. Okay, that's, that's, that, that, was, that was a pretty good one to grab, to be honest. And out of that, we get Butt Bombs. Yeah, Star of the Bottomless Pit. It's going to be pretty good. All of our flies become Locusts, and killing enemy, we get, get, gain a chance to gain a Locust. I didn't know Star of the Bottomless Pit was an Angel item, to be honest. I always thought it was a Devil item, but hey her. Also, can we, can we just talk about the fact that I've been able to keep my Zealot Hearts and my, um, and my Ghost Hearts this entire time? I've not lost any of them. And that's pretty impressive. Keep moving. Oh, wrong way, unfortunately. 
This, I always say this, but this still might, like, uh, it happens so often. This might be one of the most, like, one of the strongest runs I've had in Isaac. This is so obscenely strong. Like, my damage is pretty insane, getting up to, like, 40 when I'm in, if I'm, I'm in the radius of both of these guys, so it's at, like, 50-something when I'm moving in here. If I'm in the radius of both of them, it goes up to, like, 90. <laughs> Hoping we can find the boss reasonably quickly here. We've got Vasculitis as one of our um, Let Me Get Him Wisps as well, and that's that's kind of not helping. I keep seeing all these red shots and I'm shitting myself. Lovely. Um... We have really no reason not to do Hush, even though we've already done it. It's just going to be so easy that we might as well get some extra items out of it. Holy shit. We got Nugget as one of our items. Not great there. Don't want that. That's damage, I guess. I'll take it. Not that I need damage. That's pretty bad. I'll take damage to grab that. And then reroll these again. Ah, come on now. Right. How much damage is this giving us? Plus two damage. Not Probably not too worthwhile, to be honest. Tears up is pretty nice. Yeah, I don't, don't like the fact that we got Nugget as one of our items here. That's going to make things slightly more confusing. <laughs> this is... This is... What is this? I think we got Deadeye in there as well, maybe? Oh my god. <laughs> Just look at this. Dirty Mind is in there, maybe, as well? I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say. This run has become a bit of a mess because of all the Lemmageddon Wisps. Do you know what? He's surviving so long because he keeps going under fucking ground. If you'd stop doing that, you'd have no chance, my ladder. Stop going underground. Not funny or fair. Anyways, that was the hush fight. Hope you enjoyed. That was quite something, I'd say. That was quite something. <laughs> like, I think we've got Empty Heart as well. We've got Technology now as well. Which I'm actually not particularly happy with. I'd rather not have Technology now. Good, you're dead. Just a Soul Heart, sadly. No Angel item for us. Okay, we're going to need extra keys as well, so keep an eye out for keys. Is that tear detonator? Okay, no, it's a remote detonator. I was going to say, if that's tear detonator, that'd be mental. Nancy bombs. Nope. Oh, hello. Yeah, damn, this run's kind of spicy. I just love the fact that with Nugget, it creates... We fire a technology laser that creates a line of baby sides that then hit the floor and, like, nuke the room. <laughs> Ooh, 
Managed to get our keys as well, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I say, I haven't got many unlocks with uh, with Master Stammer. Maybe I need to go for more. Because there's some cool unlocks from this guy. Okay, that room's just nothing. Let's see what sort of blast we'll get with our bomb here. Ah, nothing cool. I love it when it's like bright red like that. Like I said, I think that's a dead eye, but I'm not entirely sure. Right. Let's fire anything in the general direction of the enemy and they will die. Killed all those dudes. Boss time. Goodbye, Isaac. It's been nice. The Eternal Card. Nice. I'm hoping we can get Void here as well, but you know I won't be able to. You know the game wouldn't do me that kindness. Um, Sigil of Knowledge isn't that good now, but if I get Void, it's very good, so I'm going to take it. The rest of these, this one's good for the fire rate increase. And then them two I'll try and re-roll again. Same room twice. Weird. This is where perfection would have been nice. Still nothing good. Not nothing good enough, should I say. Okay, go back and re-roll them again. It's going to be a lot of back and forth here, but it's worth it. Ghost bombs? Nah, I don't think ghost bombs is good enough either. I mean, it's nice because we've got bomb upgrades, but it's not amazing. <laughs> the red glow. Oh, an extra bomb, thank you. Oh, we lost technology. We're back to having just uh, regular Tech X now, which I actually kind of prefer, because we get the extra tiers. Back we go again. Wow, still nothing good. This is kind of embarrassing for you, game. Come on now. Oh my god, the red. The red glow, it's, it's too much, man. It blinds all. Right. Another reroll. Honestly, I think I'm going to give up after this reroll because I'm, I'm getting a bit bored of going back and forth. <laughs> I'd like to get good items, but I don't need them. Yeah, that. come on now. Pathetic, the items we're getting. You can reroll into any item pool. Why do you reroll into such trash? Got the peeper boy. Where's the boss? Okay, there it is. <laughs> we got him eventually. Okay, Blue Baby does have boss armor, so he's not going to be an insta-kill, but he's still going to be a quick kill. <laughs> I just love the fucking ridiculous red glow. Oh, Book of Jubilees, nice, yes. I've been wondering where that's been. Book of Jubilees is such a good unlock. I've been wondering, like, why I haven't been seeing that, but we finally got it. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and remove it if it's terrible, but if it, if it ruins the synergy. Okay, no, this is, this is good.
No, no, this is insane. <laughs> like, nothing's gonna even remotely survive any of this, so don't even try it. Barely able to comprehend what's happening. Apparently we killed all four of the mini-bosses at some point. I didn't notice when we did that. Please, please let us do Void. If I can't do Void, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> we have already done it as this character, mind you, but I, I just... I want to. <laughs> This is just something else. The thing is as well, my nugget explosions are knocking all the shots away, look. Like, they can't even hit me. Or they're having a really hard time, at least, because they just keep, keep, keep getting knocked away. Right, there's that done. What a fantastic run. God damn, that was a lot of fun. Ah, unfortunately I ended the run, but lots of unlocks there. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.